I'm Ian Kirk. And I'm Jimena Marie Campbell. Welcome to our Viking broadcast. Our Vikings have been doing some awesome things, so let's get right to it. Our boys and girls basketball team have been representing Vanderbilt Pride with multiple wins and clean sweeps. Here is KJK's Jimena Marie Campbell to cover the story. Viking basketball has worked very hard this season. Let's go see how they're doing. The goals we set for them this season is every week to be 3-0 as an 8th grade team and 3-0 as a 7th grade team, so total 6-0, and and to be a respectful young man. Well, as the season progresses, I hope we get a lot more wins. This year I hope to grow as a team and our leadership and our ability to play together more as a group, not individuals. Yeah. I mean, just like everyone else, I mean, I would love for us to win the district championship and finish the year strong. This season, I hope that uh, we win the rest of our games and that our team grows stronger together. This season, I hope that our team will win the rest of our games. Way to go, Viking basketball. Keep up the good work. Great job, Viking athletics. Keep on working hard. Hey, Ian, have you ever heard of an escape room? Yeah, I've wanted to try one of those. Well, our 8th grade gifted and talented classes got to compete in an escape room challenge right here on campus. Thanks to Mr. McEwen. Let's go check it out. Hi, I'm Miss Roberts and I teach 8th grade GTILA and today my students are doing breakout boxes. They're escape room type activities where they have different codes that they have to figure out and locks that they have to unlock to ultimately get to the prize. The way that we're connecting this to our curriculum is that they are using vocabulary words that they've been learning in class and also clues from the Count of Monte Cristo, putting those two things together to progressively open locks to ultimately get to their prize. That's not, I, I don't think that's a... Wait, get, get the uh, flashlight up here. There's no way they would do it. What if it has to do with. Guys, what if it has to do with these? 130. It's more. What if it's 2134? No, number one is 3, number two is 4. So it is a word. What if it's the other way around? There's no way. It ties 3421. Keep up the good work, GT. During the first semester here at VMS, some of our Viking scientists have worked very hard on some interesting projects for the science fair. Many of our students' projects advance to the next level of competition. Well, we have some smart kids here at VMS. Awesome job, Vikings. Keep on doing great things. Our own KVIK broadcast member, Ian Kirk, asked random and funny questions to KVIK and Vandom Hunter students. Here's what they had to say. Hey Vikings, we interviewed the KVIK broadcast team and students around the school some funny questions. Here's what they had to say. Yeah. Pretend you're a couple that's really mad at each other. You are a cop, you are a burglar. Now arrest her. <laughs> I could swim. <laughs>
you're Darth Vader, you're Obi Wan Kenobi. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. <laughs> wow, that was fun to watch. Street Living Triarts are right around the corner. If you're interested in trying out, add these dates to your calendar. Wednesday, February 2nd is a mandatory parent meeting in the cafeteria. You must pick up a packet from room C104 before this meeting. Students must attend with a parent. On February 17th, all forms are due to room C104 or E111 by 4 p.m. There is no exceptions. February 27th through March 1st are the trial clinics in the gym after school from 3.45 to 5 o'clock. And then March 2nd is the cheer tryouts in the gym. They will start at 4 o'clock. Your new cheerleader results will be posted online at 5 o'clock p.m. on the Van Vanna website. Best of luck to all. Hi Vikings, I'm Venanti Vermeulepali from the KVIK Broadcasting Team. Team leadership has been working very hard all year. Let's go see what they're up to. Primarily with team leadership, the takeaways that we want them to have is the owner taking ownership, being able to step out um, as true leaders in our organizations and our communities, um, knowing that whatever they aspire to do and whatever they would like to affect within our communities that they can definitely take the reins and step forward and get, make it happen. Team leadership benefits me because it teaches me leadership skills. And it shows you how to be a leader. Think about leadership qualities and we're putting ourselves into colored groups based off our traits and skills. We do everything. We literally do anything. Yeah. Everything. We learn to <laughs> talk in public better and like give speeches and like it's present better. It makes me feel more, uh, not uncomfortable, but more comfortable in front of people. I like that it's really interactive with other people. It's and fun. Yeah. <laughs> no homework. So yeah, no homework. <laughs> this class also helps our school by recycling twice a week. Keep up the good work, team leadership. Recently, our KVIK team asked some students and staff some slang terms to see who's in the trends. Let's see how much they know. Vikings, I'm Venanti Pamela Pauli from the KVIK Broadcasting Team. Let's take a look at our staff and students try out each other's generation slang. I think far out means something positive or really good or really cool. Lit. I think lit means awesome. Lit is like when you're like something's really fun or like something's really cool, so you're like, that was lit. <laughs> S-H-I-P. I think ship means a boat. I have no idea. <laughs> Well, a ship is like when like some people are together, so you like take the, both their names and you like mix them together into one name, and then you put a hashtag in front of it, and then you're like, I ship it. I think fleek means it's on point.
fleek is like when um, something's really attractive, so it's like on fleek. So that's pretty much me. Boogie means like when you're dancing. Barf me out means when you gross people out. I think barf me out means that's disgusting. Wow, some of those words from the 80s were tough. I wouldn't have guessed them. Now back to you at the studio. Wow, our Vikings are really hip. Well, that's all we have for today. Thanks for tuning in to our latest KVIK broadcast. See you next time.